Hey guys, welcome. Today we have a little fun tutorial. We're taking the flowers out of our hair and we're putting it on our eyes just in time for springtime. You've been hearing me say how I've been loving incorporating color into my looks and I've been trying to find ways to do that without jeopardizing my style and I got my nails done and this was inspired by a friend Jasmine. I will link her down below. Follow her. She's lovely. She got her nails done like this and I was like, I love that. It's a little pop of color. It's nothing too crazy. It's fun. It's springy. Let's do it. So after I got the nails done and I absolutely loved it, I was inspired to do this this on my eyes and that's what we did I absolutely love how it came out I think it's fun it's flirty it's cute and literally anybody could do this so don't think you have to be an expert I promise you it's really simple fun it's gonna take a little patience you know just a little bit but I swear anybody could do this but if you're excited for springtime and you like flowers and keep on watching. Really excited to be playing with the Dose of Colors Baked Browns too with you guys here. Um, I talked about this in my last video of how I'm just like a huge Dose of Colors fan and I love all the little palettes that they came out with and I have the original Baked Browns palette so I wasn't sure how much I would like this or if it was gonna be too similar because online it kind of looked the same, but this is amazing. I've used it a bunch of times already off of camera so I'm excited to be showing you guys the look today. And I just wanna show you guys comparing the two so you guys get a little bit of a better look at what they look like. Sorry about the glare here. There we go. So this is the original Baked Browns and this is Baked Browns 2. Again, they look really similar. They really, really do. But if you guys have seen the Pretty Cool palette by Dose of Colors, I feel like the Baked Browns 2 is like a mixture of the Pretty Cool and the original Baked Browns but I'm still glad I have it because I really like it. Also to be creating this eye look, I will be using these guys right here. This is the Fluid Eye Paint from About Face. It's the matte version and oh my gosh, these are so great. About Face did send these to me, so thank you so much, but that doesn't stop my honesty. You guys know that if I don't like something, I don't use it. And if I do like something, I will rave about it and wait till you guys see these in action. They're so fun. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know all about this. So let's just get into the look. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct in the shade 2N. About Face does have a eyeshadow primer. But you guys know I kind of, I just don't really use them anymore. I go ahead in with my concealer and that works just fine. If I was doing more of an intricate look, I would definitely be using that primer. But since I'm not, I don't really feel like it's needed. This concealer with a little bit of setting powder will do just fine. To start off this eye look, I'm gonna grab my Isom 29 brush and I'm gonna go into the first Baked Browns palette, which is this. I just need this light shade really quick and I'm just gonna take the brush and basically like set my concealer with this vanilla shade mostly in the front here and then just kind of pushing it towards the center of my lid and then up into my brow i actually want it a little bit lighter in the inner corner so i'm going to go in with my master mattes and just use the lighter shade mixed in with the cream shade just to brighten it up a little bit more right here this master mattes palette is just so essential to me I feel like no matter what look I'm doing, I always grab it for something, whether it's just to brighten up a little bit or to use a darker shade for a wing liner because I, I love my eyeshadow wings, but I'm always grabbing this. It's great. But now we're going to jump into the Baked Browns 2 palette. <gasps> so excited. And I'm going to grab my ColourPop. This is the E2 brush, and I'm going to go in with the lighter shade right here, and we're just going to work this all into the crease, up into the brow and then also just on the outer portion of the eye right here. So just working it here and then all through here, building up to just our desired depth. It's a light shade. It actually looks lighter in the pan than it comes out, which is really nice. I feel like because of that reason, deeper tones could actually really use this and successfully create a beautiful look. Because I feel like that looks a lot darker than what it looks like in the pan. Doesn't it? Maybe not. Maybe that's just me, but I think so. Since we're doing a wing, I'm making sure that my eyeshadow is also just blown out and pushed outwards as well. It doesn't have to be too crazy, but just making sure that it is all blended outwards. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of a smaller brush and we are going to go into this shade right here. This brush is actually Sigma X Brianna Fox. If you have not seen her brushes or knew that she even came out with some, 
go take a look. They are available right now. Um, I absolutely love the collection that she made. They're just fantastic. So I'm going to be using the Fox One. It's a little bit of a bigger, fluffier brush. So this is going to softly blend this next shade into the crease. So again, we're going to go in with that middle shade. And I'm going to go ahead and work this through the crease. Basically the same same location as the first shade, but now just deepening that. So working it here into the crease and outwards, and then tucking it right here as well. And now I'm just basically taking whatever's left, doing like a soft wash of that color on the outer and the middle portion of the eye, making sure it's blended. I love the way this brush moves. It's so flexible, yet puts the color where it needs to be. Such a great brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a smaller brush. This is also from her kit. This is the Fox 2. This one's a little bit more dense, so it's gonna pack on the color just a little bit more. And I'm just still taking those two colors, and now I'm just gonna make sure that I'm pushing that right there on the outer corner. I'm pushing it up into the lash line a little bit into the crease, and then as the color starts to soften, just making sure everything is blended on the lid. The last step in the eyeshadow is I'm gonna go in with this shade. So the colors that we have right now, it's like a really nice, like soft, rosier brown, which I really like, but I do wanna add a little bit of warmth to it. And so I'm gonna go back in with that Fox One just a little bit of this color and just kind of dust it on top of everything just to help tint it a little bit more. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference on camera, but in person it does help just to bring a little bit of that, just that warmth, that warmth that I feel like it was needing. It's not much, but to me it makes a difference. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I like to. Now we're gonna grab a liquid liner. This has been my favorite for the last few years now. It's the Physician's Formula. This is in waterproof, which I find that the waterproof is really nice because it's waterproof, but it's not that harsh type of waterproof where you're really trying to get it off your eyes. It's still gentle enough. So really, really like this one. But now I need to get a little bit closer to my mirror. So hopefully, yeah, there we go, that'll work. So this color is in like the black is black. Um, I do need another one, so hopefully there's still enough in here to get us through this look. But I'm gonna do a really soft wing. So I'm gonna start, let me, let me adjust a little bit here. I'm gonna start here. kind of hard to tell you what I'm doing. I feel like you just have to watch what I'm doing. But I know I hold this weird, so if you don't hold it like that, it's okay. <laughs> Let me take a step back. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I'm just gonna like perfect it a little bit more. And then I always like look back to see if that's the length, the thickness. And I think that's like perfect. I thought I was running out and I don't think so. So what I ended up doing, what which is what I really like about this one, if I feel like I'm running out, when I have it capped, I just set it this way so that all the ink goes to the brush tip. And it looks like a brand new liner. So I guess I'm still good on that, which is really nice. But you can see it's a really clean, Nice liquid line. It's gonna stay all day. Absolutely love it. So if you haven't tried it, please do. It's it's fantastic. I'm gonna take a small brush with a little bit of micellar water. This is from Laura Mercier. I got it years ago. I absolutely love this brush. It's the best. And I put a little micellar water just on one of these guys. And now I'm just going to make sure that the wing is perfect, which I mean, it's pretty damn close, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to the wing, so I'm just gonna take my time here. There we go. It's funny because, <laughs> so most of us don't really have symmetrical features, and I definitely don't. 
So my face sits lower on the side and my face sits higher on this side. Um, and so every time I do my wing, like this one always goes a little bit higher and this one usually doesn't. It's something I notice. I don't really care. I could probably make them look a little bit more even by like hiking this one up a little bit more or lowering this one down, but I never do. And I just kind of I just run with it. I really don't care anymore. Now comes the fun part. We're going to be using all of these to create our flowers. So I take the white and I just basically mix all of these colors with the white to make it a little bit softer, a little bit more pastel like. So I'm going to be mixing one by one because these do eventually dry down. So I don't want to mix all of the colors and have them right away. I'm just gonna mix what I need in the moment, apply, and then move on to the next color. So the first one we're gonna do is the blue one, which is called Blue Monday. Oh, that's really cute. I have a little mixing pan from About Face, so we're just gonna be doing it on that. So this is what it's gonna look like. That's as much as we're gonna need. I'm gonna take a paintbrush from Michaels, actually, mix the blue and the white together, and I'll show you the color that we get. You get that really pretty softer like pastel blue. I'm gonna get really close to the mirror and again this is really simple. We're just gonna make five little dots next to each other and bam you have a flower. So I'm gonna start right here in the middle of the wing. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then you can go back over it if you'd like. Super simple, really easy. Sometimes I like to put a little bit in the middle. But we're gonna save the middle for the white, so I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush with the white, and I'm just gonna dab it right in the middle. And now we have a flower, super cute. Again, on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. And then just to switch colors really quick, I just take some micellar water on a paper towel really quick and it just takes it right off. Now we're gonna go in with the yellow. This one is called It's a Blitz. One, two, three, four, five. That one's a little messy, but I actually don't mind that. I feel like when artwork like this is a little messy. I feel like, I don't know, it's just that certain style of art that is just like not perfect. Love it. Next up is purple and this shade is Hey Karma. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna do this pink. It's called La Zona Rosa. I think I'm saying that right. The names on here are so tiny and I have like really good eyes and I'm like struggling here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. You know it would be really good for this if you had one of those nail tools that have just like the dot at the end. This would be perfect. But, you know, we're going to struggle the hard way. And to be honest, I actually don't mind. I like the little, like I said, I like a little bit of the messy, the messy look. But if you do struggle with just things like this in general, use a nail a nail tool. I think that would be perfect for this. I mean, it's like the same thing what, we, what was used on my nails just for the eyes. I should probably get one myself, actually. And now the last color is Vertigo Flowers. All of these colors on their own, it's just stunning. And then being able to mix to do different colors. And then of course, like to make them darker or lighter. I mean, there's so many endless possibilities with these. There's they're so much fun. One, two, three, three, four, five. Now you could definitely space these out more, do them all over the lid, whatever that you'd like. I even think a couple right here would be really, really cute, but just these flowers sitting on the wing is just enough for me. I love it. It's just a little bit of a statement, yet still have this simple glam going on, you know? I'm digging it. But for now, we're just gonna leave the eyes alone and we're gonna move on with the face. For primer, I'm gonna be using this Refer Hydration Cream. I've raved about it a million and one times. Been loving this as my primer underneath my makeup. My makeup looks flawless. My skin feels hydrated, yet not overly hydrated because for people who have oily skin, that's obviously something that you don't want to feel but this is truly great for all skin types. I, I don't know, you have to just like get it in your hand to feel it because it is 
wonderful. For foundation, I'm going to be using the sample that I got of the new NARS foundation. I've been hearing people talk about it. It's a light reflecting one. So I went to Sephora, got a sample, tried it, loved it. So I want to try it here with you guys, just see if I love it again. Because if I do, I'm definitely going to add this to my foundation list. If you guys watched my last video of me talking about just going through my makeup collection and basically throwing away everything, I kept like two or three foundations. So I'm all freshly out and I do like to rotate mine. So I think this might make the cut to be in my collection. Yeah, see, I really like this. It is so nice. It feels like the texture feels super light enough where it reminds me of my tinted moisturizer that I love so much, the ColourPop one but you get a little bit more coverage. I think this is like a medium coverage foundation, but the texture of this is just so light. It's so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding this to the list. This is, it's so hard for me to be wowed over foundation. I have like my three staple and like that's it. I rotate between them, but this, I just love when something comes out that's like genuinely like I love. And something new, you know. I feel like a lot of times new products I'm just not into anymore. Um, and then I try them and I'm like, yeah, this isn't really anything I like. Especially foundation. I am so picky when it comes to foundation. You got to be just right for me to use you. You really do. I can't just like pretend to make things work. No. This foundation is just incredible. Oh, wow. Now before I go in with concealer, my friend put me on this like probably two years ago maybe now. Um, it's the Catrice Camouflage Cream. And this is in the shade, please tell me, is there a shade? I don't think so, but it's the pink one. It's a brightening, yeah, that's what it is. It just helps to brighten. And I like to apply this right here. I don't have a lot of darkness under my eyes, but I do have some darkness. So this is really nice just to add underneath the concealer so that the concealer is not doing as much work and it helps to brighten it up a little bit easier and you're not having to use so much product. That's what I'm all about. I'm about minimal products. Is least amount that I can put on my face is key for me. I'm gonna go back in with that Dior concealer. This is in shade 21. And I put a little here, here, there, and there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in first. And I give a little bit of brightness. I'm gonna go in my ColourPop concealer. This is in shade Light 16. And then I apply that here, here, and there. And then whatever's left, I kind of just blend it all in. Just to give a little bit of brightness in the center of the face. Cream contour, I'm gonna go in with Makeup by Mario. This is in the shade Medium. With my Refer 04 brush. And now I'm gonna bring some color back into my face. I've been really loving this contour product. I really love the Fenty Beauty one as well, but I've been seeing a lot of good reviews on the Rare Beauty one, and I really wanted to get that during the Sephora sale. But I try to remind myself, I'm like, you have two contour products that you go back and forth on. Try to at least use up one of them. So I hesitated and I was like, yeah, let's, let's not do that. Let's just get through what we do have and then the color that I wanted ended up being sold out, so I felt like that was a good sign. But I think once one of these go, which I think the Fenty is probably gonna go quicker because that's almost done, then I'm gonna go ahead and give the Rare Beauty one a try. So like I said, I've been seeing a lot of good reviews on it, so definitely wanna see if it holds up to these two. For my blush, I wanna go in with my Fenty Beauty ones. I bought these, loved them, and then they just sat in my collection, and so, we're really trying to pull things in our collection and use them. So I think the color I want to use today is Petal Poppin. These are such good cream blushes. Absolutely adore them. What I'm gonna do is grab this brush, which is also in the Brianna Fox Sigma set. This is Fox 4. I love this brush because it's the perfect size to do, honestly, anything that you want with it. Foundation, concealer, cream contour, cream blush. Use this to apply your primer. I mean, this brush can do it all. Um, but I'm such a brush hog that I like each brush to do a little something for me just so I can get
get the feel of that I'm using my brushes. You know, it's a mentality thing. So I'm going to use this guy with the cream blush. And it's like the perfect size to get on in there. Because these are really tiny. I didn't know how tiny these were until I got them. I feel like on camera they look way bigger than they are. And then you get them in person you're like, these are so cute. But they're tiny. But I actually like how small they are because I personally, I'm such a light-handed person that this would last me forever. I'm not running through this. Unless I'm using this every single day for a year, maybe. But even then, a lot of my products, even if I use them every single day, I don't know. I'm a very light-handed person. Such a pretty color. It's so soft. But it's like the perfect springtime pink, especially with this pink flower that we have in the eye. Love it. The powder we're gonna be using today is the One Size Translucent. Talked about this in my last video. This is such a great powder. I'm excited to show, show you guys and use it here on camera for you. What I like to do first, take a brush, take a little bit of that powder, mix it in my hand, and then lightly press where I need set. So we're gonna do the eyes around the nose, chin, and right here in the center of the forehead. Then once I have all that set, I'm gonna go in with this powder puff. Love these, got these off Amazon. If you don't own one of these, I'll put a link below. You need, you need them, they're adorable, and they're very, very useful, especially for this step. So I take a little bit on the powder puff, push it in, and now we're gonna do a little bakeage. Just go down the nose. And then just pushing in the skin. Really lightly. But this powder is so great. It's so soft. It smooths over your pores. It's like I don't, it's like pores never existed with this powder. It's really, really nice. And I'm excited that it doesn't break me out because I found that a lot of these setting powders break me out in the creases of my nose. And you know what really does it? Ugh, the Anastasia one does it really, really bad for me. It's like such a good powder, but I break out really bad. So the fact that I'm able to get this really beautiful smoothing effect, this nice matte, this nice matte finish, and it doesn't break me out, Oh, it's wonderful. For the rest of the face, you know I use my Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade two. I actually just, um, during the sale, grabbed two new ones of this, the number two and the number one. I use them constantly. Literally just my absolute favorite powder in the world. For bronzer, we're gonna use Physician's Formula yet again. Just go ahead and set that cream contour and then bronze up the face. For a little extra bronzer and a little bit more of the chiseled look, I've been loving Vive. I have the shade Medium. I love that it gives you two different tones in there so you can really customize your own bronze, your own blend. And I kinda, I just do, I kinda do one of these. I just hit them both. And then I'm gonna hit, oh, little hair. Just hit the hollows right here. And then just, a little bit here on the forehead. For blush, I went back into my collection, found this guy. This is the e.l.f. blush in the shade Always Punchy. Love it. I forgot how much I really, really loved this. It's such a beautiful, fun spring color. And I'm gonna take my Refer 05 brush. These are really pigmented, so you don't need a lot. I'm trying to be really gentle with it because I'm they're really pigmented. I actually don't mind going a little bit extra with this blush for this look just because the look is still kind of simple and the blush really ties in with the flowers anyway so I think it's cute. For highlighter you guys saw a little sneak peek of this guy in my last video as well from Pat McGrath. This highlighter is just insane. This is definitely like the craziest highlighter. I own here in my collection. Just look at that embossing. Oh, stop. It's beautiful, I'm a sucker, I'm a fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. I would say this is definitely not my typical like everyday highlighter. It has a lot of like shiftiness to it. 
Um, it's a little bit more of like a powdery, I don't really know how to explain it because it's not glitter because I don't like glitter, but it has just like this powdery with this reflect and it's just, it's a little bit more for me than just like the everyday highlighter. I mean, I could wear this every day. I would just be really fancy. I feel fancy when I use it, but I don't know how to explain it. It's just really, really pretty. I don't think I said what shade this was. This is Lunar Nude. Now I do want a little bit of pinkiness to me, a little bit more. So this is one of my like OG, not like OG, I've had it for a couple of years now, but this is one of my favorite highlighters and it's broken. I just, I love it so much. This is from Wet n Wild. And I don't think that they make these anymore. And it was just like a quick little collection. It was this one in another color, which I also have. Um, but it's in the shade Don't Flutter Yourself. And it's this really pretty pink highlighter. And I love just lightly dipping in and going over any pink blush that I have because it makes the blush a little bit pinker. Um, and then adds just that glow to the cheek without being too much. I really like glowing skin. So for me, this is not too much. But if it's too much for you, I would just stick with it on the higher points. But for me, that whole like pinky cheek glow, digging it. But now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to dust off any of that powder that we had sitting there. It's good now. I do like to add a little extra brightness. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Highlighting Contour Palette that I made. Love these highlighting powders. They're phenomenal. I'm going to use this shade right here, which is 104. I'm actually going to do both. 104 and I think this is 108 but it's the banana shade. And I'm gonna use this brush right here, which is also in the kit with Brianna Fox. This is the Fox 5. And I just do a mixture of both. And then I go under the eye and around the side of the nose. I feel like it does add a little extra coverage and just brightness without leaving your under eye cakey. Cause we don't like a cakey under eye. And this does not give a cakey under eye at all. Now to finish up the eyes, it's really simple. We're gonna go back in with the Baked Browns 2 palette and I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. Let's see which one I wanna grab. Ooh, a favorite of mine, the Refer 01. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use these two shades right here, which is what like majority of the eye look was of. And I'm just going to now coat my lower lash line with them. Keep it simple. All right, loving the way that looks. Just gonna leave it as that. Now I'm gonna do lashes and brows off camera. Now, I did do an updated brow routine, so if you haven't seen that, I will link that for you above here. I go all in depth with how I do my entire brow routine. And for lashes, I'm gonna be using my all-time favorite at the moment, the, the Ardell Naked Ones in the style 422. I talk about these all the time. I wear them constantly. These lashes are amazing. If you have not yet tried them, please do. I cut mine up. I just kind of stick them on the end and they're like, they're just the best lashes. I'm so obsessed with them. And the mascara that I've been currently obsessed with too, I've talked about this on Instagram a lot. It's the Isum The Mascara Mascara and it is fan fucking tastic. I've had it for like two months and the more I use it, the better it gets, which is strange because you know, majority of mascaras when you use them, they start to dry out. Like rude. They start to dry out and they go to shit. And I'm like, okay, now it's time for new mascara. This does not. The formula is amazing. It's this really rich, deep black. Your lashes look like lacquer. It's amazing. Um, it's water resistant, but the formula isn't tough to get off. And the formula doesn't irritate my eyes, which is amazing. I started having like this irritation to mascara and I didn't know that it was to my mascara until I used this and realized that the irritation stopped. So this mascara has just been like amazing. I'm obsessed with it. I can't get enough. I'm gonna use this forever. And that's my thing on that. So that is that. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and lashes off camera and we will be back to do the lip. Now for lip, is it ever really an Amanda lip if I'm not doing some type of concoction? That's what we're doing today. Okay, so I have two lip liners and they're crucial in my opinion, they really are. So the first one, which is majority of the lip. Um, that is the new Isom lip liner. So they have these dual ended lip liners. Absolutely love them. I have the original co collection. Um, they came out with two new colors and this is the blushed version. So you're going to get, um, two different colors of 
blushed. So this is a little bit more like a nudie blush, and this is more of a pop of color. But today we're gonna go ahead and use the nude part of it. Then once we have that all filled in, we're gonna go in with this one from Jarred Cosmetics. This is Sugar and Spice. Love this. It's similar tone to the first lip liner I talked about, but it's a little bit deeper, so I like to use that just to kind of deepen up the edge just a little bit more. And then we're gonna go ahead in with this liquid lipstick from Kylie. It was the Kylie and Chloe collab, so I'm not sure if they still have this, but this is in the shade Allergic to Bullshit, and it's just like the perfect like pinky springtime lip. So again, first what we're gonna do is go in with the Eason lip liner in the shade Blush, and we're gonna use the lighter end of the dual lip pencil. Then we'll go ahead in with the Gerard Cosmetics Sugar and Spice, add a little bit of that color through, and then to finish it off, the Kylie and Coco Allergic to Bullshit Liquid Matte Lipstick. And that completes the finished look, just in time for springtime, and a way, again, to incorporate some color. I talked about this on my Instagram, where I was like, you know what, I love the idea of incorporating color, but incorporating in a way where it's not jeopardizing my personal style. I do have like a certain look, a certain style. So I was like, how can I incorporate it without jeopardizing that? And I felt like this was perfect. You guys know I'm all about wings. And I like just like popping in color here and there. And this was something really fun, very easy to do. And it's a way to get out of the box again without really feeling like you have to be like an expert to do this. Super simple, super easy and fun. I love it. But that concludes the springtime look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again so much for always watching. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Love to have you around. Do not forget to like and comment on these videos if you'd like to see more. Follow me on Instagram if you are not already. My name is Amanda Devon on there as well. And that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.